Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math lesson. And today we are going to look at some of the skills that required for you to pass the internal linear algebra. This is worth three credits in NCA. So there are three four skills you need to know. Uh, first, you must be able to draw the graph. The second one, once you have drawn the graph, you need to find the equation of the graph. And then you need to do substitution in algebra and find the cheapest cost. Or you can do so by drawing line upwards. And last but not least, to get the merit, you need to find the point of intersection of the two graphs. And to do that, you must use simultaneous equation. So as I said before, linear algebra is made up of algebra as well as graph. So if you can combine them together, you should be able to get at least an achieve or a merit in this internal. Okay, let's look at an example. Okay. Suppose we are doing a simplified version. We're not going to do the whole internal. We're just going to simplify. Plumber A charges $40 for the first three hours and then $15 after that. Plumber B charges $50 for the first three hours and then $10 after that. So we are going to first draw the graph and find the equation for both plumber A and plumber B. Once we have done that, if the work requires eight hours, we want to find out which plumber should you choose, which plumber is cheaper. So we shall do that by doing uh, skills number three, which is using substitution, as well as you can draw the line up to see which is the cheaper option. And last but not least, Find the point, the hours and cost where plumber A charges the same cost as plumber B. This means the two lines are going to intersect each other and then you have to use the simultaneous equation. We come back to the question later, but in the meantime, we shall draw the graph. Okay. So the graph says that we shall look uh, at the graph now. So plumber A is going to charge $40 for the first three hours and $15 after that. So we're going to draw the graph. So we look at the graph. So the first graph First hour, the orange graph is $40. The second hour is going to be $80. And the third hour is going to be $120. So then they say that it's going to charge $15 after that. So after $120, it's going to be $135 in the fourth hour and $150 in the fifth hour. So that is how we draw. So this graph is made up of two parts. The orange part is the first three hours. And then the blue graph which is after the three hours. So we shall draw the graph. And if you can draw that, that's an achieve. And then plumber B. Okay, plumber B is slightly different. $50 for the first three hours and $10 after that. So the first hour is going to be $50. Second hour is going to be $100. Third hour is $150. After that, it's going to be $10 onwards. It's going to be $160, $170, $180 $100 after the sixth hour. So that's how you draw the graph. Not too difficult, right? Okay, now the interesting part, we are going to find the equation of the graph. When you draw an equation on a line, it's always this formula, y equals to mx plus c. So in the first formula, this line, the orange line, so cos, we're going to write cos equals to mx plus c. But because your c is at zero, your intercept is at zero, so there's nothing there, so we're going to leave as it is. Okay, zero will not be playing a part. So to find the gradient, you just find rise, which is uh, 40 here. And then the rise is 40. Can you see length here? 40. And then the run is 1. So 40 divided by 1, that's how you get 40. Okay, and your y is your cos, and your x is your hour. So that's why your formula is cos equal to 40h. And it is between 0 and 3 hours. So you write in the domain, hours is between 0 and 3 hours. So that is the equation of the orange line. Okay, the equation for the blue line is slightly different. Okay, we shall work it out now. The, now to find plumber A for the blue line, uh, we have to find a point on the blue line. So we have found this point here. H is 5, 5 hours and cos is $150. So we are going to use that formula y equal to mx plus c. So to get the blue line, we write the formula y equal to mx plus c. Okay. So but your y is replaced by your c. 
your x is replaced by your h and because your, there's another c here uh, similar to this c i have changed the c to a letter a it could be any letter it could be a b it could be z it could be anything so we shall let it be a so the objective of this is to solve for a so to do a you have to substitute the values here so your h is 5 your c is 150 instead of c you replace the 150 instead of h you replace with 5 and a remain that's what you're going to find so 150 equal to 15 times 5 is 75 plus a then you minus 75 on both sides 150 minus 75 will give you 75 75 minus 75 will cancel out so a equal to 75 once you have found your value of a you're going to put them into this a and then the equation is going to be c equal to 15h plus 75 because your a is now 75 and that occurs when the hours is more than three hours so the domain is h is more than three hours so far so good well done now we shall look at plumber b plumber b now there are two parts again the pink graph and the green graph so we shall look at the equation for the pink graph so plumber b is going to be 50 dollars every hour for the first three hours and then every 10 dollars onwards okay so again to find your equation is y equal to mx plus c okay y equal to mx plus c y is replaced by c because your y axis is your cost x is replaced by the hours because it is uh, x axis is the hours so and then you plus zero because it's going to cut at zero again so there's no point of writing plus zero so the answer is y equal to mx to find your gradient, you find the rise over run. So the rise from here to here is 50, and the run is 1, so the gradient is 50. So the equation is going to be cos equal to 50h, and it occurs between 0 to 3 hours, and that is how you write the domain. So far, so good? Okay, now we're going to do the, the equation for the green line. The green line again, the equation is y equal to mx plus c. y is replaced by c. x is replaced by hours and c is replaced by a because we do not want to confuse the c with the cos c. So the intercept is going to be written by the letter a. Now we're going to find a point. We have found this point here. It is when cos is 6 hours. Uh, when the hours is 6 hours, the cos is 180. So what we do, we're going to substitute cos is 180, hours is 6, so 180 go to 10 times 6 plus a. The objective is to find your a. Okay, so now once you have done that, 180, 10 times 6 is 60 plus a, minus 60 on both sides, a is 120. Once you have found a is 120, you're going to replace the 120 into that equation. So you're going to be c equals to 10h plus 120 that occurs only when the hours is more than three hours so the four equation is this 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 and that so far so good okay it's getting a bit messy now so we are going to do the same graph okay so now the next question if you look at the example again okay i'm going to show you the question again okay the question is if the work requires eight hours which plumber is cheaper so should you use plumber a or plumber b so what you're going to do you are going to just go to the eight hours mark and then you're going to draw a line okay you're going to draw a line and then we'll see the first line is that it's going to be at the blue line so of course blue line is plumber a so plumber a will be the cheaper but of course this is too easy to get an achieve we shall do substitution method and that will allow us to get a merit okay so if h equals to 8 the two equation is c equal to 10h plus 120 for the green for plumber b and c equal to 15h plus 75 for plumber a we do okay we're not worried about the first two graphs so we shall only worry at the green and the blue graph so now what you're going to do if h equals to 8 we are going to substitute for plumber A, which is the blue line. So you get 15 times 8 plus 75. 15 times 8 is 120 plus 75, and the amount is $195. 
for plumber B, which is the green line, okay, the equation is 10H plus 120. Instead of H, we're going to replace H with 8. So 10 times 8 is 80 plus 120 comes up to 200. So of course, plumber A is cheaper for 8 hours of work by $5. So that will give you a merit in this internal. So far, so good? Okay, the last question was that they want to ask you at what stage find the point and cost where plumber A charges the same as plumber B. So the point where they are the same is here, okay? They are going to be here, okay? This point here. So you have to use simultaneous equation to solve. So remember the equation, uh, cost, the plumber B is cost equal to 10H plus 120 for plumber A is cost equal to 15h plus 75 i'm going to transfer that equation over here so we shall look at it now okay so equation this is equation one and equation two so 110h plus 120 that is plumber b okay plumber b and then for equation two is plumber a okay so now you have these two equations you want to find where the graph is going to meet okay so what you're going to do you are going to do simultaneous equation. If the cost is equal to that amount and the cost is bound that amount, if both of them are equal to C, you can claim that 10, this amount is equal to that amount. So we have wrote 15H plus 75 equals to 10H plus 120. Now we're going to do simultaneous equation. So you're going to minus 75 on both sides. So 75 minus 75 is going to be zero. On the left, you're left with 15H. 10H bring down 120 minus 75 going to be 45. The next step, you're going to minus 10H on both sides. Okay, minus 10H. So 15H minus 10H is going to be 5H. This will cancel out and you are left with 45. And then, of course, you divide by 5 on both sides. H equals to 9. Okay, that's not the end because you need to find the cost. To find the cost, you can substitute either into equation 1 or equation 2. I have decided to substitute in equation 1. So the equation was 10H plus 120. So instead of H, because you found the H to be 9, you substitute 9 into the equation. So 10 times 9 plus 120. And the come 90 plus 120. And the answer is 210. So again, the point of intersection is that H equals to 9. Okay, this point, H equals to 9. And the cost is 210. That is the point where both plumber A and plumber B charges the same price. So hopefully you under this video has helped some of you to understand how to do the four skills required. Again, I'm going to repeat what are the four skills that is required. So the four skills that is required for this internal is first, you must be able to draw the graph. Second, you need to find the substitution method to find the work done in eight hours which plumber is cheaper using either the line method upwards or using substitution method and to get a merit you need to do simultaneous equation where the two graph meet and that is a merit so hopefully you get it and keep practicing if you're not sure just try your best and ask for help from your teacher. Thank you and have a good day. Cheers.